Hi, I'm Dave from Astro, and tonight, let the dogs out here, tonight will be my second night shooting SH-2132, the Lion Nebula. So I'm coming out here, we've got about a half an hour before sunset, and I'm coming out here to more or less set up and get ready for shooting tonight. So like I say, this is the second night of shooting the Lion Nebula, which for me is a new target, one that I haven't shot before. And the subs that I was getting as I was as they were coming in and I was looking at them, they looked pretty good, so hopefully it all works out well. Let me check my balance here. Okay, that says I'm a little heavy there. How about here? Yeah. I got great guiding last night. I got guiding in the neighborhood of um, 0.4 and 0.5. Around, there we go. Okay, a little top heavy. Um, of course, it dropped down to about 0.7. Uh, when I was down close to the horizon, right over here. The Lion Nebula at this time of the year, actually, as soon as it gets dark, let me grab it here, as soon as it gets dark, it, and I can sh start shooting it, it's already at the meridian and passing it so it's really kind of interesting um, shooting this thing last night it was like the scope was like had just barely um, had just barely autofocused when she automatically went into a meridian flip so that was kind Instead of, of me rambling I'm just gonna go ahead and close this out and uh, next thing you'll see is me at my laptop and it will be dark in about a half an hour to 45 minutes and we'll be shooting um, the Lion Nebula. Okay, so I'll start my Unity, my Astro, my Pegasus Astro Unity and I'll start Green Swamp Server. Once these get started I'll go ahead and do Nina. So one of the things I like about the Pegasus Astro, uh, yeah, Pegasus Astro um, Uranus monitor, is that it will tell you what the Bortle sky is. So right now I have Bortle eight skies. It says city sky. Sometimes it, it flops between Bortle eight and Bortle nine, uh, but today it's definitely Bortle eight. Anyways, Green Swamp, I believe we're finally parked. We're parked, like I said, I had to restart my application here. Um, Nina froze up on me. That profile, connect, connect all my equipment, yes. Go to my camera here. Negative 10, K, 
camera's warming up because I just had to um, reboot. So the camera's at about negative five. And now with the temperature, I should at least hold off. Yeah. Get it back down to negative 10. holding 3.2 okay so we're starting to 3.3 .3, so we're starting to cool back down to negative 10 so we go into sequencer and I've already got the sequence set up just need to load it again and then reset it and it's right here already had some subs. So right now we're waiting. We are waiting for temperature. So now we wait for the temperature to get down to negative 9.8. That's when it will um, start letting me um, start letting the sequence move past this point. We're almost there. So let me go here to the imaging tab. And as part of my imaging tab, I've got my sequence right here so I can see where I am. Uh, it's a question I always ask myself. Uh, sometimes I don't plug in my battery and it dies at about midnight. It'll run the rig pretty much for about five, six hours and then it dies. It's an old battery, but it works. So I just plug it in here at the house. It has all the outputs that I need for power. Um, it has the um, five millimeter plugins um, with a two point, I think it's a 2.1 center. Good. Makes it very, very simple. So now we've plate solved. We're at where it need, need to be. So now we're doing Nina. PhD2. There we are. There's the guide graph. We just started out, but we're at 0.36, which is <laughs> all you can ask for. This is from an EQ6R Pro. So here's our first H, get rid of that, there we go, and you can see the line, right here is the mane, you see the tail come up right here, and then the legs, it's four legs, one leg, two leg, three leg, four legs, you've got the little wispy tail there, and there's the mane, so there we go, so now I'll let this run until about, it'll run until about one o'clock, and then after that, um, shut itself down and then in the morning I'll take flats and then I'll process the pictures and see what I get so if I got to processing the pictures you'll see them right after this